And now for the latest change in Facebook. It's dealing with our fan pages or pages or business pages or whatever you want to call them. We are adding the timeline feature to your pages kind of like that of your personal profile page. To get all the details that I'm not going to be covering in this particular video, you can head over to facebook.com forward slash about forward slash pages and you can even click right here as long as you're logged in and it will take you to your pages so you can start adapting some of these changes. But this is the new look for the fan page here. You've got that large cover image up here, you've got a different profile image, you, instead of having the little icons over here to the left underneath your profile image for your applications, you've got them right here. Of course, you've got the timeline look, and you've also got things that they're not showing here, but you can add milestones, which take up the full width of the page on your particular post, like this little flag-looking thing. That's pinned. That means this post right here is stuck right there at the top left. So any new post that Starbucks throws in here, they're going to come in below this. This is ideal for maybe offering a special or you've got a new promotion coming out. This pinned post is good for up to seven days. Now one thing you might want to consider too with this new timeline look is to keep things fresh that might be more of a viral element for your page because as new visitors show up here or even your existing fans show up to your page and they see this cover image changing out once a week or so they may be more apt to come back the following week to see what you got up there now likewise with this pinned post they might come back later on to see what your latest offering is and as your existing fans like your page then they're more apt to tell their friends and then their friends tell their friends and so on and then creating that viral effect for your fan page but to find out more about the new look and all you can head over here to this page and to get more ideas about what some of the big dogs are using their this new timeline element for come on down here and check out some of their pages it might give you some more ideas on how you can adapt some of these elements of the new timeline look to your fan page Let's head on over to my page real quick. This is the existing older look, if you will, at least ways if you're looking at this prior to March 30th of 2012. And we're going to go ahead and take a quick tour here. So let's click on the preview. And by the way, come March 30th, this is no longer going to be. This is what it's going to look like. So take advantage of this time if, again, you're watching this before the 30th of March and make these changes now because even after March 30th, you'll still be able to come in and make all these edits. It's just that if you do so before Facebook turns your page into the timeline, your fans and people that visit your page will think better of it because it'll look nicer. It'll look more like you were prepared for the change uh, than just being caught off guard. Anyway, let's go and quickly take a tour here and see some of the changes that they're talking about. And again, we're talking about the cover image probably being the biggest thing, just like with your personal profile. You've got 850 pixels wide and 315 pixels high that you can work with on your image. It can be a much larger image, but they're going to crop it down to those dimensions. The big thing that's different here versus your personal profile is you cannot promote anything here whatsoever. You can't even have the URL to your website in here, your Twitter feed URL, you can't have an arrow pointing to the hey click my subscribe button, none of that stuff. And for all those details check out the learn more link that shows up whenever you are adding your uh, cover image. Next up we've got your profile image here. It's no longer that long tower looking thing. You've got a 180 wide pixel by 180 high pixel image you can work with and this needs to also look good at 32 by 32 which is right here because this is also going to represent all of your news feeds and that image is also going to show up next to sponsored pages and so on. Well, while I'm here let me also mention too something else that's new as of this recording is Facebook's added this instant messenger uh, desktop application so you no longer have to actually be logged into your Facebook account to be able to chat with your Facebook friends. You can do so if you install the messenger here, but okay, I digress. Moving on, let's go ahead and see what we got here. Oh yeah, highlight what's important. These are your custom page tab applications that used to show up uh, down at the bottom below your profile image that used to be the little 16 pixel by 16 pixel image. No more. Now we're looking at 111 pixels wide by 74 pixels high. So take advantage of that additional canvas you can work with. Now you've got up to 12 applications that can be on your page but only four can be up in the top row that people can see without clicking further into your your page. But 
all of these can change locations except for this guy right here. That's going to stay in place, but you can change the look. But these other guys here, you can change these around from one location to the next, just depending on how it will most benefit your particular fan page. And another thing here is your about page. Instead of adding all of those promotional ideas and URLs and whatnot on your cover image, do so in the about page. Use your about page to throw in your URL to your website, your Twitter feeds, and all that kind of stuff. And in the description of your business or your fan page here, be sure and think search engine optimization. Think keyword rich. Don't stuff this thing full of keywords, just have keywords in mind when you're writing your description. What else we got here? Uh, oh yeah, your actual posting. Here you've got a couple of cool new things. One is you can pin your post. This guy right here will stay right up on top, as I had mentioned earlier, for up to seven days. And as I had mentioned earlier, try to keep things fresh. So just because you can have this here indefinitely, just by repinning it for seven days on end, doesn't mean you have to. Another thing is you can click the star that also shows up here and you can take advantage of the full width of the page and like that you've got milestones where you can say you just reached your 1000 subscriber or you just had your first uh, big day in business. You can make a milestone which will take advantage of the full width. You can also do that with videos. You can post a video here, click on the star, and now then instead of your video being in just this little section here, it takes the full width of the page pretty cool option. What else we got here? Oh yeah, your admin page. Everything's showing up right here in front of you. You got your insights, you got your new likes, you got your notifications, and something new right here, you've got messages. Where people are actually sending you messages, you can also respond privately to those messages right here. And if you do not like this option, then you can also toggle this off so that people will not see the message icon that shows up and they won't be able to click on that and send you messages. But, you know, and keeping things transparent, communicating with your fans, I would say leave that on and consider this a major blessing in being able to communicate back and forth privately with your fans. Now, do not confuse this with the message tool within groups because you're not able to send out or initiate the messages just like you can in groups. This is to respond to people that have messaged you. And again, you can adjust that in the admin settings. What else we got here? I think that's pretty much it. And we're going to cover in greater detail some of these specific items here in upcoming videos. But for the time being, thank you very much for watching this little intro to the new timeline feature of your fan pages. And don't forget to get all the information about your timeline feature that I may have overlooked. Head on over to facebook.com forward slash about forward slash pages.